Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to show you is how we can write relationships like these in a different kind of notation, often called FX notation. Now suppose we had a relationship like this, y equals 2x plus 3, or a relationship like this one, s equals t squared minus 2t plus 1. And I'm sure you've come across many relationships, connections if you like, between various variables. Well, if we had something like this, if y equals 2x plus 3, suppose we were working out the value of y when x was, say, 5. When x is 5, we would therefore obviously substitute 5 into the value for x, and we would have therefore y equals 2 times 5 plus 3 giving us 2 5s to 10 plus 3 is 13. Now, this is all very well, but there is an alternative way of writing statements like this, okay, using a different kind of notation. So we're going to look at an alternative notation, often called FX notation. Now, a statement like this, y equals 2x plus 3, could be written like this, fx equals 2x plus 3. And if I wanted to say when x was 5, what's the value of the, the, the that we get out, okay? All we need to do is just simply say, therefore, f of 5. Notice how I've replaced the x with a 5. So it's like saying when x is 5, what I then have is the same as before. I just replace the x with the 5 and I get this 2 5s to 10 plus 3, 13. So fx equals 2x plus 3, so therefore f of 5 equals 13. We don't have to obviously have numbers that we substitute for x you'll often come across letters. So you might have something like this. Let's just say also, suppose you had f of a. What this means is like saying, well, when x is a, what's the value of f of x? So we just replace the x with the a. So we're going to have 2 times a plus 3. f of a, 2a plus 3. You don't have to have just a, you can have many other things that you substitute. And another common one that you'll see in transformations of graphs, which um, is in another one of my tutorials later on, you're going to be working with notation like this, f of x plus 1, for instance. What is this? Well, you replace the x again in whatever f of x was defined as in this case 2x plus 3, you replace that x with the x plus 1. So it's equal to 2 lots of x plus 1 plus the 3 on the end. And you might wish to expand this out. And if you do that, you're going to get 2x plus 2 plus that remaining 3. And then you could simplify this to give you 2x plus 5. There you go, f of x plus 1 then. You'll also find that you might get a number outside of the f of x. So you might have like five lots of f of x. So we need to multiply f of x by the five. So in this case, we'd have five times whatever f of x was. We know it's 2x plus 3, so it's five times 2x plus 3. And if you were to expand that, you're going to end up with 10x plus 15. Now, when you have relationships, we've seen then that we can use fx notation. Obviously, we can't use fx notation for this because what we've got here is the variable t. So this one would be written something like this. f of t, for instance, equals t squared minus 2t plus 1. But you don't have to stick with F, although that is a common letter that we tend to use. You'll quite often come across other letters, 
like G's or H's and maybe some other ones. G's quite a common one, so let's just change this to G of T equals T squared minus 2T plus 1. So you could get something like G of 3T. What's that going to be? Well, we need to replace the T in our relationship up here with 3t. So you've got to be careful here, make sure you put things in brackets. We've got 3t all squared. We're replacing the t with the 3t. And here we've got minus 2 times the 3t. And then plus 1. And if you want to clean this up, 3t all squared is 9t squared. And then you've got minus 2 times 3t, which is minus 6t. And then finally the plus 1. Here's one that you might like to try. You're going to come across quite often a minus outside a relationship. Minus g of t, for instance. What's that going to be? Well, you might want to pause the video for a moment and see if you can write down what this is going to be. OK, did you get the right answer? Well, let's just have a look. We've got essentially minus 1, if you like, being multiplied by g of t. So we've got minus 1 multiplied by all of t squared minus 2t plus 1. So you need to put that in brackets. So you've got t squared minus 2t plus 1. And if you expand this out, what you're going to get then is minus t squared plus 2t minus 1. So be careful, obviously, on those signs. And finally, one other common one that you're going to find. g of, say, minus t. What's that going to be? Well, again, you could pause the video, just have a go. OK, let's see what you got. We've got to replace the t here with minus t. So if we do that, again, you've got to be careful with the brackets. You've got minus t all squared. You're replacing that t there with the minus t. Then you've got here minus 2 times minus 2 times the minus t. And then plus 1. Expand this out. And what have you got? You've got t squared plus 2t here, and then plus the 1 on the end. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea of using fx notation or g of t notation, and that you can apply these kind of methods. All right, OK, well, that uh, brings us now to the end of this tutorial.